For many years, people have always been fighting over which library or framework for the UI is better. And the new ones come around all the time. You know, we have Svelte, Angular, Vue, React. I'm not here to argue those. I'm here to show you that you no longer need to kind of fight which one is better. What happens if I throw Astro into the mix where you could actually use any of your components from your existing favorite library? So for example, if you're building an app and you could use Astro, then you can port over your React or Vue components. I think that's pretty awesome. So I want to give you a quick demo. But before I do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and while you're down and subscribe and hit the bell button to so get notified every time I post a video and go live. Let's follow the instructions on the page, which is npm create Astro latest. And you don't need to specify a folder, it's going to ask you. So we can say Astro React. Yes, we're going to create a React component in the Astro project. We're just going to go for the basics for now, but it's great that you've got different templates you can use to get you started. Uh, would you like to install dependencies? Yes, we'll need that because you want to run the app. I want to show you that it's working because otherwise you won't believe me. No, I didn't believe Dan when he showed me on a live stream Teach Eddie Star when he introduced me to Astro. While we're waiting for this to install, why don't you leave a comment below and let me know what UI library or frameworks you like to use. I'd be really interested to see what you're using at the moment and which ones are your favorite. Git repository, usually I'll say yes, but today we'll say no. We'll have TypeScript set up as relax. So let's go. Let's navigate into the Astro React directly that we just created. And let's do npm run dev. So now it's running, it's saying to go to localhost 3000. Let's have a look what that looks like. We've got the basic Astro page working. So we know that the app is working. I always recommend checking this. So next thing we will want to do, let's open VS Code. And let me quickly show you what you've got here. So you've got your traditional folders, public source directory. And in the source directory, you've got components with your actual card. So we can actually see what an Astro component looks like which is used on the homepage. You've got card multiple times here. We're going to create a React component in a minute. Props look familiar. HTML and CSS looks familiar. So that's all pretty standard. And you can do that with an Astro component. What happens if you want to port over your existing components? Well, you can. So in the component directory, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it React Component. So it's really obvious what it is. Then in here, let's create a React component. So we want to export default function, react component, and Copilot has pretty much auto completed that for us. So I will happily take that. And I mean, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and then on this page, we can import the new react component. So we can say react component. We don't want to do it like this when it's self closing. And then we'll need to import it at the top. So we can say import React component. That's pretty good, but it's not dot Astro, it's dot dot JSX. And then it is complaining because we haven't set up Astro to understand that. So what we need to do next, we need to go back to the terminal and we need to install some packages. So we're going to do npm install save dev. And we're going to install Astro JS React package, but also the React package itself and React DOM. The next, we're going to go back to here and we want to update the config. So in Astro config MJS, we also then want to specify some actual configuration. So what we're going to do is we're going to import React from Astro React. And then in here, in the config, we're going to specify integrations. And we're going to have multiple integrations, but we want React integration. So that is going to be a function. And so now that should actually work. That should all it all it should be. So if I start npm run dev, oh, missing the word from, read the error message. You can see it says here expected from, but didn't get it. So let me save it. Now it's no longer on the line, looks a lot better. Let's clear that. And it all should be good now. Let me refresh the page. And you can see this is a React component has suddenly appeared. And that's what we got from our React component here. And just to prove it to you, this is a React component. Yes. Save. You can see yes has suddenly appeared. Don't like that yes, so let me let me delete that. And you can see it's already gone automatically. And if you just want the, the heading and not the p tag, right, you can do what you want and the p tag has disappeared and now it's just the heading. So we have got a mixture of Astro components and React components. You probably don't want to have loads of components or different types of components in your project. You know, imagine you had like every library and framework possible, but if you ever wanted to migrate from one to another, you could do it in stages. I think that's a really, really interesting concept that you don't have to do a big bang migration. 
you could bring all your components over and then slowly move them one by one as you wanted to. Or if you had different teams working on different projects and, and you wanted to share components and one team was moving over to another library or framework, then you could use this. I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts below. Let me know what you think. This is as far as I've gone with Astro, but it has been quite an interesting experience, definitely taking a different concept of things. But let me know your thoughts below. And don't forget to join us in the Eddie Hub Discord between YouTube. YouTubes and live streams. I really enjoy geeking out with you. So I'll see you there.